This is part one of a two-part series on the Radeon 9700 Pro video card. Today I will be looking at the Radeon 9700 Pro from two different companies. One from FIC, First International Computer, and one directly from ATI. Now as you can see here, at a quick glance you'll say, well this is identical. Yeah, pretty much so. It is fairly identical. The only thing different really is the box and the manual and the CD included for them both. You can see here, this one here, by looking at it, the card itself is almost identical. The only distinguishing factor on this card is ATI has a little tiny ATI logo sticker on the printed circuit board. This one does not. But again, the memory is the same, the heat sink's the same, everything else is the same. Even actually the cables that are included are the same. You have an S video cable. This can go plugged right into the back of the card. And a composite cable as well. Now, the way that this works is they have a little tiny S video to composite adapter here. You plug this into the card first, then you plug a composite cable into here to give you that ability. Also, they've included a DVI to VGA adapter, a CD with software and drivers, and the manual. Now, the ATI packaging, again, the box is a little different, but they've included pretty much the same cables, of course, the same card. They have included, though, a don't forget guide here, how to install this properly. Now, the way that this differs from any other card on the market currently is this little power connection here, and you have to plug this into the card and then plug this into your power supply. In ATI, they have included a guide to tell you how to do that, because without doing that, the card is not going to work. And of course, the manual is a little different here with ATI, and they've included the same drivers, really, and software. There is a cooler included on this card. Like most video cards these days, they do need this to keep the core nice and cool. The core speed on this video card is 325 megahertz, and the memory is at 310 or 620 DDR, and there's 128 megabytes of memory on this card. Right here we have the standard VGA connection, the S video, as well as the DVI connection, and this card does support dual display. Also something a little different on this card is this power connection. This goes plugged into your power supply and then gets connected into the card. This is very crucial, something that you have to do in order to get this card to work. Overclocking this video card was not great. It was good though. I was able to get the core up to 350 from its default of 325 and also the memory I was able to get up to 335 from its default of 300 and 10 megahertz. Now in part two of this video review on the Radeon 9700 Pro, you will see this card really does not need to be overclocked to be the fastest video card right now on the planet. Not only is this card bleeding fast, it has the industry's first 8 pixel pipeline architecture and that provides twice the rendering power of any current competing product. Also it supports the new 8x AGP standard and that provides a high speed link between your video card and the rest of the PC, in theory around 2 gigabytes per second. It also fully supports DirectX 9 and the latest OpenGL. Also with ATI, it includes a technology called TrueForm, and what that does is take the jaggedies off of characters in 3D games. Also included is the Smooth Vision 2 technology, which provides new levels of image quality with the advanced full-screen anti-aliasing and the anti-astropic filtering. Also included is the new Smart Shader 2 technology, and that allows users to experience complex movie quality effects in 3D games and applications. Outside of 3D as well, this card performs both with the 2D crispness and quality of this product as well as DVD playback and let's not forget the dual display support. No questions about it, this video card has all the features you'll ever need in both 3D games and 2D applications. In my part 2 on this Radeon 9700 Pro, I will be looking at 3D benchmark results as well as the dual display support. 
Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, go in and register in the forums if you haven't already. Registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.